Hi, Sue Lawson here from Weaver News Minutes, and today I am with the leader of the rebellion, Ted from Red. Uh, it means I, nothing, you know. It's just a title. It's it's the truth. It's the, Not truth. the truth. I keep telling him he's got rock star status here. It's like sitting next to Mick Jagger, only better, obviously. Um, we're here to talk about, he's got some exciting new things that are coming out. Red is phenomenal, and now you're introducing Scarlet as well, which we is are. what I'd like to hear a little bit more about. Okay. So, yeah, for your market particularly, Scarlet, I think is going to be very, very interesting because we announced a year ago, sat in these very chairs, and we said, we're doing a camera that is going to be a little different than the Red One. The Red One's our 4K digital cinema camera, shipping all over the world, making movies, doing great. Um, we're going to do something that's pocket-sized and professional-level tool. I didn't tell anybody anything else at all about it, right? Just pocket size, professional. Um, we announced the name a few months later, Scarlet. People speculating, what's it going to be? Wondering, thinking, okay, well, they did a 4K camera. Maybe they'll make a cool little HD camera. Well, we did something way beyond an HD camera. We announced a 3K camera. That's what Scarlet actually is. So it's bigger than HD, um, and it shoots in the same logic as the Red One. It shoots the Red Code RAW codec. It's very, very advanced, just a 1 to 120 frames a second in 3K, and can burst even faster, it can go up to 180 frames a second. It's about yay big, so it's a pocket-sized camera, it won't fit in like your pants pocket, but it'll fit <laughs> in a coat, big coat pocket, or a professional photo vest, or a small little camera bag, that's what it's designed for. And um, the target price point is under $3,000. That's absolutely amazing. Now, do you have to buy glass for it as well? No, nope, that comes, that glass included on Scarlet. So, it has a wonderful 8 by zoom that will be um, exceptional for a lot of uses. And, you know, this is a full-on professional level tool. The sensor size is much bigger than I think anybody anticipated. The 3K sensor is actually a two-thirds inch size sensor. There are digital cinema cameras today working in the world for hundreds of thousands of dollars that use two-thirds inch size sensors. That's not nearly good for our professional uh, cinema quality. That's what we go for in 5K now. 3K, 2 thirds sensor is our entry-level product. Now, what's the workflow on it as far as post-production is concerned? Are you capturing to a card? Are you capturing to a drive? Yes, you're capturing to a compact flash card, very fast compact flash card. Same style that you would use in a digital uh, still camera, so people are very familiar with that form factor. And then we have a pretty unique and very robust uh, working development relationship with Apple. So you can take the compact flash card and connect it up to a you know, usually move the files over because that's your negative, right, your, your, the stuff you shot. Move the files over onto a normal FireWire drive or the internal drive on the Mac. You can open the files right up in Final Cut Pro today, uh, and there'll be other tools, you know, in the future. Um, and you can literally drag them into a Final Cut timeline and edit them right away without rendering or transcoding or anything. Wow, that's amazing. Now, because they're, they're raw format, you can also manipulate them easier, can you not? Yes, um, tremendously, because you have a tremendous amount of dynamic range and latitude way beyond what you would get with, uh, with pre-processed files from an HD camera. So you get a win on the resolution, a win on the fact that you're shooting raw in a compressed format, a win on this post-production, you know, we didn't just build this camera and drop it off and say, okay, go figure it out, have a nice day. We actually spent time figuring out how you're gonna work with it in post-production. It's a very important part of how you, you function with this, with this camera. Now, can you swap out lenses or? It's a fixed lens on this camera. So that makes it easier. Yes. If you want to go to the swap out lenses, you go to its bigger brother or bigger sister, as it were, the Red One, which is a PL mount cinema grade camera. On the other side of the spectrum, so that's Scarlet, right? Scarlet's going to appeal to a wide, wide range of customers from people shoot, indeed shooting wedding videos are going to have a chance to shoot something that they never had anything, you know, from a budget standpoint, close to being able to shoot unless they happen to be shooting with the 35 millimeter film or, or a big professional uh, camera. That's Scarlet. Um, on the digital cinema side, the Red One, which is of course shipping now, I think we're shipping in the 1500 order range now, so uh, there's lots of cameras out there. Shooting big movies, small movies, commercials, TV shows. I guarantee you, you've seen commercials on TV now, shot with the Red. And the next generation of our digital cinema product is something called Epic. So, oh. Because there was so much excitement of, about Scarlet, as well as being a really cool product announcement, it also made an effective smoke screen for what we were doing on the other side. So no one was uh, kind of thinking and concentrating on that, and we launched something else called Epic, which is our next-gen digital cinema offering. So we go from 4K to a 5K sensor, an even bigger sensor. This is a true cinema camera. It uses cinema-grade lenses. But we learned a lot. This is our first crack at it, right? We learned a lot of what we were doing and how we were doing it. And we built a camera that's coming out next year, higher resolution, next-generation sensor, 
and believe it or not, even smaller and lighter than the Red One. That's amazing. Now, so that's the Epic that's coming out next year. And when does Scarlet come out? Scar so, same thing. Uh, Epic and Scarlet are targeted for early next year. These are engineering targets. And when do you start taking orders? Uh, that's a good question. Um, what we decided to do this year, in the last couple years, we had madness. Uh, this year we decided to have a slightly more relaxed NAB. So we we're showing all the new stuff. Hopefully people are interested and excited and we'll announce um, sales strategy and whatnot down the road. And Red is already shipping and out there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Have you caught up with the backlog when it comes to Red? Uh, you know, I think we're getting there. I know that lots of people have their cameras, and this year people are coming up and shaking our hands saying, thanks, we're shooting, we love it, it's great. So we're getting there. Fabulous. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sue oh, like and Ted from Red, Sue from Weaver News Minutes, thanks. Thank <laughs>